now on the crossroad Ain't stopping till the morning light Come over, baby Don't you take too long We are the explosion I'm tired of this life of living We've been practicing for several weeks on this acoustic thing right here, and uh, we very much enjoy it because it's raw. It's back to its raw stage, and um, I find when you can sit down together and as a band, just sit down there and acoustic, and and, and 
come across really well. It, 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 it gives you confidence as a band, you know. It totally gave a different vibe to the music, you know, than what we were getting out of it before. We definitely thinking about maybe doing that now and, and recording unplugged, our stuff unplugged on acoustic format. I don't know, we've been through so many different eras, you know, it's hard to really pinpoint anything that, uh, that's an influence, influence, you know, with all the cover song bands have been in and we've been in. I don't know, it's really hard, you know, back to the 70s, maybe Zeppelin. You go to the 80s with Motley Crue, you know, it's different eras, you know, you, you, uh, you just, I love the 90s too, because the 90s reminded me of the 80s, back to that runners, that album rock, you know, it wasn't a uh, pop metal thing, which we got tired of quick in the, end of the 80s. <laughs> You know, Ricky was playing music when, you know, he was a little bit older than us and uh, he was kind of a, uh, you know, influence on, on me and Donald when we were like in high school, he was playing in bands, you know, that were going around at that time and uh, we ended up making a band in the 80s, me, Rick and, uh, and Donald, Class X, and then Class X actually picked up Eric. And, uh, we had a few variations of the band that lasted quite a long time. And yeah, and then wasn't long after that we started work on uh, Just Another Day. Yeah, yeah. We recorded it ourselves in uh, Eric's house, actually on computer, uh, with the help of Robbie, our sound engineer. But we had worked on it for a year, and it was time to you know do something with it, at least get it out there, because we had been talking about releasing this, and we never did. So uh, we were just you know, hoping the songs would carry it. But the songs did Most carry it. I mean, I don't, I don't you know. It, the people who bought the CD, the feedback from everybody who's got it has been great. You know, so we've been through so many decades of music. We always played rock. You know, we've seen the changes along the way and changed with the changes, but kept what we always basically knew. You know, I mean, to me, I mean, the Sabbath, the Rush, the you yeah, know, stick to your roots, uh, Zeppelin, and you know, the early stuff, and then into Kiss, and you know, it just goes on through and through. You know, the good hard rock basically is what influenced us, uh, ACDC, uh, then you get up in the, to, to the days of the 90s and all, uh, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, and the whole grunge scene, Pearl Jam, uh, and then we again influenced by the new rock of today and our newer writing, I mean, um, you know, it's all rock and roll, you know, and I guess we can just steal bits and pieces of it and, uh, put together this gumbo, we, you know, we call our stuff. When you see it in the songs, in the writing of the songs, it's just so, so broad, so different, you know. You got the sounds from the 70s, 80s, 90s, it's just a mixture of all of that. Original. Uh, yeah, original. Original. Yeah. Yeah. original. There, there's right. nothing else out there that sounds like us. Right. I mean, there, there is no band around that sounds like us. We're, you know, we got the harmonies that from the, you know, you take that from the old 70s and 80s bands that they can actually sing. We can sing. You yeah, know, we, we can. We, you know, everybody pretty much who's successful, you know, goes off the same recipe, you know, exactly. for what their sound is. And I mean, we like to change up stuff and really do different things instead of, you know, with different singing styles and stuff like this to uh, just make it sound different. Not the same old, same old. Now 
something about whatever we play it sounds like us you know it, it really doesn't matter what we do what type of music I mean we we can do anything from something sounding country to reggae but it's gonna sound like swing on the whole cover scene around here you know it's what's so hard about original bands and from Louisiana you know if, if you're not playing Zydeco or you're not playing Cajun music or you know what's accepted to be the big deal in Louisiana it's hard to make it in a rock band, you know, and, and there's a bunch of really, really good bands around. We want the crowd to come away with a good time, you know, and uh, to do that, we got to have a good time, you know, and we usually do. So people who are going to swing on show know before, and, you know. Where they feel like they have fun with time. us, you know. Yeah. Having fun with them, you know, we're not separate from them. We're all having a good time together. And it's very important. But uh, the friendship thing, it's the experience. We've got all these years of experience in our experience belt. Experience and respect. We've, we've been through all the bands yeah. where you have problems and this, and so we, we know how to avoid all of that and, and made us closer friends because of all of that. Yeah, it's, it's experience it's and experience. respect. We've all, we all been doing this for 20 years, some of us plus 20 years, you so, know. We yeah. all got respect for all what we did in the past, you know, and that, you know, with that respect for each other, and then everybody's just cool, you know? <laughs> That's how we do that. We work as one. We were all, you know, we yeah. on stage, we won. We solid, one. You know, it ain't one individual. That's right. You know? it, it's you know? all I need yeah. him, it's I need these three guys to, to make me to make me do what I want to do, you know? And it's vice versa. And then un unselfishness towards each other also, you know? Because when, when you have bands where, you know, you got two guys, three guys that's taking the front man position, you know, there's no egos flying there. It's like when he's up there, I respect what he does and I enjoy what he does. When he's up there, he enjoys with me when I'm finished. Man, that was a good, great job. You know, it's like, so, you know, with that kind of respect, and it, it's not like it just started like that. It continues to happen, you know? There's no competition thing. It's just no. he does what he does. I do it, and we have fun. We're together on this, you know? Yeah. We're not trying to outdo each other. We're together on this. It was good about my part. Ricky plays bass, Grant plays bass, so they swap out, so I get to play with two bass players, you know what I'm saying? So it's like really fun because they both do different things, you know? And it's really fun for me, you know? And I can, I can jam with Grant and I can turn around and throw down with Rick, you know? That's really great. Maybe not. Yeah. We all be 
satisfied You hurt me and I hurt you Never was intentionally Don't look back It's better to forgive They got feeling sick Whoa, emotional They got feeling sick Whoa We uh, named the CD Just Another Day, um, and it's actually one of the songs that's on the CD. Uh, the CD includes 13 all original songs. Um, it, we kind of chose and Just Another Day because just the way the world is now, and when we were writing the, the songs and writing the lyrics and this and that, um, the topics, the, just different topics of every song was, was so different, so versatile, and so about what was actually going on in the world. Um, and as, as sad and, and depressing as the world can be sometimes, it became just another day. We didn't need a name. Well, me, I rode a bike, a Harley, and my other friend rode a Harley, and I, one day we just practiced, what about swing on? And, okay, that sounds good, and that's pretty much how it went, you know? Swing on, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, a, it's a motorcycle part. Basically, you got to play from the heart, which, which comes out at a time, you know. Mm -hmm. Goes back to like what I said being yourself, being having your own identity as a band, you know. And the people that are going to come see you, they're going to love you, they're going to get into what you're doing. It may, may not be the mass hype of other bands, but uh, I'd rather have less that hype and have people that really pay attention to you, you know. Having 10,000 people that, and the rest of them just walking around looking at everything, and you got 500 people and they're all just paying attention to you. I wanted to 
here, but no one made a sound and it all became so clear. Just 